Christina Zarich joins me now on the phone from New York. She is at the scene of that, uh, the, where that crane came down. Christina, tell us first what it's like at the scene now. Has the area been completely sealed off? Yes, that's right, Andrea. So at the moment, I'm looking at dozens of police cars and dozens of fire trucks. Uh, they've pretty much cordoned off about a block extra away from where this crane has come down. Um, I managed to get a few glimpses uh, of the crane itself lying on the ground. And one thing that has struck me is just the scale of it. It is absolutely huge. Uh, this, the boom of this crane was about 150 metres long, about 500 feet. So it gives you an idea of how much space this is taking up. It's pretty much closed down this whole area of Tribeca. Uh, as you mentioned in your introduction as well, one person uh, has been confirmed as dead. Uh, he was sitting in his car at the time, a 38-year-old male, and uh, another few people have been injured, two of them seriously, and they are recovering at the moment in hospital. Um, but locals here are quite surprised. Uh, if I'm honest. A few people had said that they had noticed how close the crane was to building, but never really thought that it would come down. Obviously, there's a lot of construction going on in a city like this. And as we all know, the famous New York City skyline is quite a pincushion. They're very used to construction here. Uh, but today, most people are quite surprised. And the mayor's office is saying that it will take a few days for this to be cleared up and investigated. And the mayor has also ordered, as we're hearing, all cranes lowered as a response to this. In a city like New York, where construction is just perpetual there, that's a pretty serious task, is it not? Oh, it is, definitely. So there are varying uh, accounts of how many cranes there are operating at the moment in New York, but it is in the hundreds. So that is bringing work to a halt. I mean, safety has to come first in situations like this. I think today authorities would say that they were quite lucky that they only had as much damage and as many fatalities as they had. This is downtown New York, Tribeca, very trendy area, 8.30 in the morning. There were so many people walking around and driving at the time. Uh, it's quite a miracle that it wasn't a lot worse than this. Uh, but for the hundreds of cranes going down in New York now, not able to work, that does put a halt on construction and on the city moving, as it were. So it remains to be seen how much lost productivity that might generate, but we will see. At the moment, the Mayor's Office and the Department of Buildings are just focusing on safety, and it's not a surprise that they're doing this, especially since they're expecting more wind in the next few days uh, and potentially more snow. And Christina, they have said heavy winds brought the crane down, but is anything more being said about the cause, perhaps about the condition of the crane itself? Well, look, this was a company based in Long Island City. It's called Bay Crane that operated the crane. Uh, nothing that I've seen so far has called into question this company, but uh, the crane in question is known as a crawler. So it's a, a large boom, a large crane mounted on some kind of undercarriage, and it's on what is known as uh, caterpillar tracks. So they're the ones that sort of mimic a caterpillar, and they can move along quite easily and be moved. So this morning, uh, it's being reported that workers were lowering the crane because winds were gusting during the snowstorm this morning, and that's when the crane came down. Uh, I guess more investigations will need to take place. Uh, police and fire departments are here to do that, to find out just what happened. Okay. Christina, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us live from New York City.